Hello, future officers. Welcome to another session of our hand-to-hand -hand discussion. So, today we will be discussing very important themes in our geography, and the themes that we would be covering would be related to movement of ocean, climatic regions. Climatic regions से बहुत बार questions पूछे जाते हैं in the actual UPSC examination, and also we would be discussing those questions which are related to structure and physiography of India. Starting with question number one. क्वेश्चन नंबर वन में आपसे पूछा है कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन स्टेटमेंट पढ़ने से पहले आपका ध्यान करेक्ट और इनकरेक्ट पे जाना चाहिए राइट नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट इज गिवन सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट ग्रास आर फार मोर एक्सपेंसिव एंड आर प्रैक्टिकली ट्रीलेस ओके सेकेंड विंटर्स आर वेरी कोल्ड इन दिस क्लाइमेट टाइप Extensive mechanized wheat cultivation is practiced in the region having this this climate type. And now looking at the options, Udan type of climate, temperate continental type of climate, tropical monsoon type of climate, or is it warm temperate western margin climate? So this is very simple to deduce. Why I am saying so? If you see second option, ko dekhenge, so winters are very cold. If winters are very cold, how can it be warm temperate western margin? So this goes out of the picture. And first statement read in this type of climate, grasslands are far more extensive. Grasslands bahut zada hai and they are practically treeless. So it is a classic example of Sudan or Savannah type of climate. So these are the major grasslands in the world. And this is, sorry. Is not Sudan type of climate. I'm sorry. This is temperate continental type of climate, right? Temperate continental. Because continuality effect will be interiors. Me, sub places will be, and interiors me the difference, the annual range of temperature is very high. The correct answer is temperate continental climate. It is also known as steppy type of climate. So I hope the answer is clear. Thereafter, question number two. Consider the following pairs with respect to climatic regions of India. Now, climate type is given and the area is given. Monsoon with dry winters, is it eastern Rajasthan, tropical savanna, Randakaranya plateau, and polar type Arunachal Pradesh. And we have to tell how many of the pairs given above are correctly matched. Now there is Koppen's classification, Koppen's climatic classification and if you look at the map of India, if you consider Arunachal Pradesh, so Arunachal Pradesh does not have a polar type of climate, right, doesn't have a polar type of climate. So this is wrong. The correct answer is only two of them are correctly matched. First is correctly matched, well as second is correctly matched, third is wrong. Moving to question number third, now consider the following statements regarding Sudan type of climate. This is about Sudan type of climate. And how many of the statements given above are correct? First statement reads, the extreme diurnal range of temperature is characteristic feature of this type of climate. Yes, this statement is true. What dry summer season is observed in this climate? No, this is not hot dry season, rather this is hot wet summer season. This statement is wrong. Tall trees and small bushes are found in this region. Ulta kar diya. There are small trees and tall grasses. So the correct answer becomes only one of them is correct. Option is option A. And this region is also known as big game country. Lot of wild beasts are found over here, as well as this is a home to number of tribes like Maasai tribe. Question number four, with reference to British type of climate, consider the following statements. This type of climate experiences adequate rainfall throughout the year. Yes, this definitely is true. Because of the westerlies. 
सेकेंड द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन ऑफ ब्रिटिश टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट इज कॉनिफेरस फॉरेस्ट तो दिस इज नॉट कॉनिफेरस फॉरेस्ट रेदर दिस इज डेसीडियस फॉरेस्ट राइट एंड इट इज अडेप्टेशन ऑफ द एरिया इट इज इट दडेप्टेशन ऑफ द ट्रीज सो एज टू प्रिवेंट दैम फ्रॉम कोल्ड एंड वी हैव टू टेल विच ऑफ दैम आर करेक्टली आर करेक्ट दिस इज रॉन्ग वन इज द राइट आंसर मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग ड्यूरिंग समर्स द वेदर कैन बी एज हॉट एज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड ह्यूमिड nights are relatively cooler and temperature dips to a range of 30 degree celsius torrential rains and high humidity accompanies the monsoon aur aapko pata karna hai this depicts characteristic of which of the following places is it chennai is it mumbai is it shimla or is it kanpur so many of the aspirants they would be surprised to see such kind of questions but trust me this is very easy you just need to apply your basic common sense पहला स्टेटमेंट क्या दिया हुआ है ड्यूरिंग समर्स वेदर कैन बी एज हॉट एज 45 डिग्री सेल्सियस और कंसिडर शिमला कैन यू इमेजिन टेम्परेचर गोइंग एज हाई एज 45 डिग्री सेल्सियस एज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ शिमला तो शिमला गोज आउट ऑफ द पिक्चर बट यहाँ पे ह्यूमिडिटी की भी बात की है और जैसे ह्यूमिडिटी वर्ड आता है तो हमारे दिमाग में सबसे पहले आता है चेन्नई मुंबई इसीलिए ये आपको ऑप्शन में भी दिया हुआ है बट Having said that, 45 degrees, extremely high temperature, and these coastal regions, they have moderating impact of the sea. So these also are eliminated. Some aspirants they can also think that Kanpur में इतनी humidity कहाँ से आई? So Kanpur is on which bank? Which river is it situated? River Ganga, right? So from there it gets its humidity. So the correct answer is Kanpur. Now question number six: Which of the following are reasons for excessive cold in North India during winter season? First, continentality, continent, continental climate of states like Punjab, Haryana, and Rajasthan. Yes, this is true. जितना इंटीरियर में कोई भी प्लेस होगा जितना समुद्र से दूर कोई भी प्लेस होगा उतना ही अधिक उसका रेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर हो जाएगा मॉडरेटिंग इंपैक्ट कम हो जाएगा दिस इज ट्रू सेकंड, द स्नोफॉल इन हिमालयन रेंजेस क्रिएट्स अ कोल्ड वेव सिचुएशन ये डेफिनेटली स्नोफॉल वुड क्रिएट कोल्ड कंडीशन द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट दैट इज गिवन इज ईस्टर्न disturbance wind system picking up moisture on its way from mediterranean sea so this is not eastern disturbance the famous western disturbances third statement is wrong the correct answer is option a i hope this is simple this is clear moving to question number 7 consider the following vegetations bulbs cacti tall grasses dwarf acacias and epiphytes how many of the above vegetation belong to the desert vegetation now desert vegetation se upsc ne copy paste karke do bar same to same questions puche adaptations in desert aur is question mein aapse kya pucha gaya hai that how many of the above vegetation they actually belong to desert vegetation so cactus definitely it is there tall grasses no tall grasses are actually a feature which is related to savanna type and epiphytes jaise hi word epiphytes aata hai to aapke dimag mein kya aana chahiye epiphytes they are a characteristic feature of the evergreen forest this is also incorrect only two are right Question number eight. Consider the following statement with reference to climatic regions. The Eurasian type of climate region is world's largest fishing grounds. Yes, this is true. No trees are found in tundra vegetation because of extremely cold temperatures. And taiga vegetation is the richest reserve of temperate softwood in the world. This is also true. So all three are correct. correctly given so what are the 
बेसिक वेजिटेशन ऑफ टुंड्रा तो टुंड्रा में आपको क्या मिलेगा मॉसेस लाइकन एक्सेट्रा तो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज आर यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल मॉनसून क्लाइमेट जोन वेदर ऑफ इक्विटोरियल ट्रफ प्रिवेल्स इन विंटर इन चीजों पे बहुत ध्यान दीजिएगा विंटर दिया है समर दिया है वाइल ट्रेड विन कंडीशन आर प्रिवेलेंट इन समर्स तो वेदर ऑफ इक्विटोरियल ट्रफ प्रिवेल्स नॉट इन विंटर बट ड्यूरिंग समर्स सो दिस स्टेटमेंट बिकम्स रॉन्ग The rainy season usually ends with heavy thunderstorms associated with unstable conditions. This is true. Only two is correctly given. Question number ten with reference to the formation of tides. Tides के ऊपर सवाल है. Sun's gravitational pull has greater influence than the moon's gravitational pull in the formation. No, this is absolutely wrong. Moon is obviously closer to Earth. This statement is wrong. The tide generating force is the difference between gravitational attraction force and the centrifugal force. Yes, this is true. So if sun is there, for example, moon is there, Earth is there, right? So gravitational pull would be exerted on this side, or this side. May what would be having centrifugal force? This is question number eleven with reference to five ocean basins of the world. Consider the following statement: Indian Ocean is the smallest of the world's five ocean basin. No, Indian Ocean is not the smallest. In fact, this is Arctic Ocean. But what is your question? Which of the following statement is are correct? First statement is wrong. तो सेकंड स्टेटमेंट पढ़ने की भी जरूरत नहीं रह जाती ऑब्वियसली दिस इज करेक्टली गिवन सदर्न ओशन इज द फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट एंड द न्यूएस्ट ओशन इन द वर्ल्ड फाइनली द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट सरगैसो सी लोकेटेड विद इन एटलांटिक ओशन इज द ओनली सी विदाउट अ लैंड बाउंड्री इज दिस डेफिनेटली इज द आंसर बिकम्स ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व विद रेफरेंस टू द फैक्टर्स दैट इन्फ्लुएंस ओशन करंट्स Consider the following. A number of factors have been given. Five different factors. And which of the following is are correct? सबसे पहले आपका ध्यान यहीं पे जाना चाहिए. Correct or not correct? क्या पूछा? So heating by the solar energy. Yes. Coriolis force. Yes. It deflects the winds or the ocean currents towards right in the northern hemisphere and in the left in the southern hemisphere. Difference in salinity. सेलिनिटी yes, डिफरेंसेस की वजह से भी इट आल्सो इन्फ्लुएंसेस ओशन करंट्स दिस इज आल्सो ट्रू डिफरेंस इन वाटर डेंसिटी दिस इज आल्सो ट्रू एंड द मॉनसून विंड्स और द प्रिवेलिंग विंड्स दे आल्सो हैव एन इंपैक्ट ऑन द ओशन करंट्स सो ऑल ऑफ देम आर करेक्ट आंसर बिकम्स ऑप्शन डी मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन विद रेफरेंस टू लोकेशन ऑफ ओशन करंट्स ओशन करंट कोल्ड ओशन करंट कहां पे वॉर्म ओशन करंट कहां पे ईस्ट कोस्ट वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ ओशन ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट कोल्ड करंट्स आर यूजुअली ऑब्जर्व ऑन द ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट इन लो एंड मिडिल लैटिट्यूड वॉर्म करंट्स आर यूजुअली फाउंड ऑन द वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट इन द लो एंड मिडिल बेसिक अगर क्लियर होगा देन ओनली यू वुड बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन So for this, what you need to do is you can draw the image for the same. Or जो भी famous आपका warm currents है, where you would be finding those. This is on the eastern coast of the continents. आपसे पूछा है, which of the following is not correct? तो दोनों ही गलत statement. Both of them are wrong. So you need to pay proper attention कि east coast of continent दिया है या फिर ocean दिया. The answer becomes option and you can also apply your knowledge of means the means or prelims ki alag alag padhai nahi hoti only the approach changes means mein question bhi pucha gaya hai why do you have the majority of desert 
लोकेटेड ऑन द वेस्टर्न साइड तो वेस्टर्न साइड पे आपको क्या मिलेगा कोल्ड करंट्स और जहां पे कोल्ड करंट होगा ऑब्वियसली एयर वोट बी एबल टू राइज गोइंग बाय दैट लॉजिक आल्सो यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट अबाउट द सरगैसो तो इट इज बाउंडेड बाय इट इज बाउंडेड बाय मीन लोकेशन के बारे में क्वेश्चन है एंड इफ यू आर अवेयर सरगैसो सी वेयर इट इज इज देयर इन द एटलांटिक ओशन सो इट इज बाउंडेड बाय मोजाम्बी करंट इंडियन इक्विटोरियल करंट वेस्ट ऑस्ट्रेलियन करंट नो इट इज नॉट ट्रू रेदर इट इज बाउंडेड बाय द नॉर्थ एटलांटिक करंट हेयर यू कैन एंड दिस गेट्स और डिराइव इट नेम फ्रॉम द सी वीड दैट इज सारगैसम एंड इट इज द ओनली सी इन द वर्ल्ड Which is not bordered by land. Moving to question number fifteen, with reference to ocean circulations, consider the following statements. Downwelling occurs when winds blowing across the ocean surface push water away from an area. Not true. This is upwelling. Here you can see. The surface winds they push water away from an area. What we have, we have upwelling of cold water, which brings lot of nutrients, which are very essential for the phytoplanktons and the entire marine food chain. Coriolis force moves the warm current from low latitudes to the right in the northern hemisphere. Is this statement? So the answer becomes option. Question number sixteen. Consider the following. Now, some factors have been given, and how many of the factors mentioned above affect the salinity of an ocean? Salinity को कौन प्रभावित करेगा? Obviously, evaporation. उतना ज़्यादा evaporation, उतना ज़्यादा salinity would. Precipitation, yes. Precipitation would decrease the salinity. Freezing of the ice, yes. Because it would lead to generation of lot of salts. Salts are left behind. This is also true. Ocean currents, yes. When ocean currents they move, they carry salts along with them. This is also, true. and winds is also a factor which affects the salinity because prevailing winds they affect ocean currents. The correct answer is all five are right. Question number seventeen is with regards to M O F that is Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. Consider the following statements. Now, three statements are given, or you have to correct each. It is driven by differences in temperature and salt content. Yes, this is called thermohaline circulation. Kaha jata hai. It helps in heat and energy distribution around the earth. Yes, this is also true. And Labrador current as a part of MOC. is responsible for mild climate on the eastern coast of north america so if you draw the eastern coast of north america so labrador current is from here and labrador current is actually a cold current how can a cold current be responsible for mild climate on the eastern coast of north america rather this is not labrador current this is gulf stream this statement is wrong so What is the right answer? Option A is our right answer. I hope this is clear. Moving to question number eighteen, consider the following statement with regards to ocean currents. So four statements are given. आप से correct नहीं पूछा, आप से not correct पूछा. So be very very much careful with the same. Ocean currents are strongest at the surface and decreases in strength with depth. Yes, this statement is true. They are the strongest. Obviously, with the depth, जैसे जैसे गहराई बढ़ेगी, तो wind का action won't be that much effective. Surface currents constitute about ninety percent of all oceanic water or ocean water. No, this is not ninety. Rather, this is ten percent. स्टेटमेंट सेकंड इज रॉन्ग और आपसे नॉट करेक्ट ही पूछा है मतलब ऑप्शन में सेकंड शुड बी देयर 
Coriolis force causes wind causes the currents to move to the right in the northern hemisphere. Yes, this is true. So if this is true, this cannot be our answer. Correct answer is option D. So northern part of European continent remains navigable throughout the year due to presence of cold current. No, this is not cold. Rather, this is a warm Gulf Stream. I hope this is clear. Moving to question number 19 with reference to La Nina. Now three statements are given and we have to find which one of them are correct. It results in increased instances of monsoon rains in India. Yes, La Nina definitely impacts our monsoon and it increases the instance. It contributes to high temperature in western Pacific Indian Ocean and of Somalian coast. Best scenario is to just draw the image for La Nina condition. In La Nina conditions, mein, what is the case like? Because if you draw the diagram very much properly, so you would be able to navigate to your answer. So, second statement the high temperatures kaha pe hai? Western Pacific. Is this is Pacific? This is Western Pacific. This is Eastern Pacific. So Western Pacific definitely high temperatures are there, right? This statement is true. Third statement, read this very properly. It causes drought in Peru, Ecuador. Yes, this is very much true. Because there is strong upwelling or strong upwelling ki wajay se high pressure. Or high pressure causes atmospheric stability. Barish nahi hogi. Peru or Ecuador mein barish nahi hogi. Yahan tak statement sahi tha. But uske aage kya likha hai? As well as Australia. No, this is not true. Australia mein there would be increased rainfall. At times there are, there is flooding also. Third statement is wrong. So what is our answer? Our answer is option only two of them. Question number 20. Which of the following best describes the phenomenon of triple dip La Nina? Now this was there in current affairs, right? Now triple dip La Nina. Is it La Nina lasting for three years in a row? La Nina is associated with drought or weak monsoons, occurrence of two consecutive La Nina winters in northern hemisphere and none of the above. So this is very simple. La Nina which lasting, which lasts for three years in a row is triple dip La Nina. Question number 21 with respect to oceanic salinity, consider the following statements. Statement 1 and 4 or up say not correct. Salinity variation at ocean bottom is maximum. Salinity kaise max salinity ka variation kaise maximum ho sakta hai depth pe. No, it is not true. Salinity ka variation sabse adhik hoga surface pe. Why surface pe? Is evaporation sabse zada kahan se hoga surface. Mixing of water kahan pe hoga at the surface. This statement is not true. There is a sharp increase in the salinity in the halocline layer. Yes, this statement is true. Salinity always decreases from lower to higher latitudes. Now, mind you, the word is always decreases. This is not true. Why this is not true? If you consider equator, equator, tropics, polar region. So, polar region, mein what is there? Fresh water is added. Low salinity is there. Equator may high evaporation is there, but at the same time, there is everyday rainfall also. Salinity is greater in comparison to the poles, but if you consider equatorial regions with that of the tropics, subtropics, the maximum salinity would be found around 20 to 40 degree latitudes. This statement is wrong. The fourth statement, effect of salinity is greater in determining the density of water water rather than the temperature. No, this is not true. Rather, this is the other way around. So, the correct answer is option C. These statements given over here are wrong. Only second is correct, but you say not correct has been asked. Question number 22 
which of the following pairs is not correct with reference to oceanic plateau ridge and adjacent ocean ocean bottom topography relief features telegraph plateau indian ocean no this is not indian ocean this is not correctly matched so, telegraph plateau if you would have a look this is atlantic ocean not indian ocean then you can see pelvis ridge is there in Atlantic Ocean, Cocoa Ridge is Pacific Ocean and Agulas Basin in Indian Ocean. Agulas current bhi padhte hain in the ocean currents. So this is wrongly mapped. Question number 23, which one is the most extensive part of oceanic flow? Most extensive part. So the most extensive part is the abysmal plains also known as the deep sea plains. are the most extensive parts of the oceanic floor. Consider the following statements with reference to Indian coastal plains. Western coastal plains are wider than the eastern coastal plains. How do we know which coastal plain is wider and which is narrower? If you consider the drainage pattern of India, about 77% of the entire rivers they drain their water into Bay of Bengal. And if they drain their water into Bay of Bengal, that means they would be carrying the sediments also. Or those sediments could be deposit karenge. Uski wajay se what would be there? Eastern coast would be emerged in nature. Or hum sabhi ko pata hai, Krishna ji ki dwarka it is considered as a submerged part. So, western coastal plains are wider than eastern coastal plains. This statement is not true. Eastern coastal plains are an example of submerged coastal plains. No, this is not east, this is western. This is not true. Western coastal plains provide natural conditions for development of ports and harbors. Yes, this statement is definitely true. And there are lot of natural ports, lot of harbors over here. Patiawar coast, Konkan coast, Palabar, Kanara coast, Utkal, Andhra coast, Koromandal coast. You should properly read these. Question number 25 with reference to Indian subcontinent, Sona Pani, Hispar, Pindari, and Bara Sigri are names of. The line lakes, glacier, islands, ya fir mountain ranges. Aisa hi kuch question poocha tha. Deedwana, Kuchaman, Sargol, these are a type of what? They were saline lakes. Ab aap se poocha hai, these are, these are glaciers that are there. Bara, Sigri Glacier, Ispar Glacier and rest you mark on your atlas. Question number 26, Kayals. Karevals, Bogials, or Barchans. This has been asked. So, Kayals are thick deposits of glacial clay embedded with moraines. No, this is not Kayals, rather, this is Karevas. Karevas are backwaters used for fishing and inland navigation. So, if you just reverse kar diya hai, both of them are not correct. Aap se not correct hi hai. Next, Bogials are summer grassland in the higher reaches. Yes, this is true. And here we would find nomadic tribes of Bhutiyas, right? This is true. These two are wrong. Fourth, Barchans are a narrow belt parallel to the Shivalik foot, foothills. No, if you know what, what do we mean by Barchans? Barchans are there in Jaisalmer, Osab region, Rajasthan. So this is not true. So what is the correct answer? Third is correct, but aap se hai, not correct. So one and four are not correct. Question number twenty-seven with regards to Kayals of Kerala, consider the following statements. They are soft water lagoons formed by the rivers just before flowing into the Arabian Sea. Rembanad Kayal is the largest one. And unlike others, it is a completely, it is completely made of brackish water. 
stream wood completely. This is not completely made of brackish water. And these are not soft water lagoons, rather, these are brackish water lagoons. So, neither one nor two are correctly given. Question number 28 With respect to Himalayan mountains, consider the following statements. Himalayas pe bahut bar question pucha. Syntaxial bends are present in the middle portion of Himalayas. No, this is definitely wrong. Where do we find syntaxial bend? At Nanga Parbat and Namcha Barwa. This is wrong. These are not part of, not present in the middle portion. Second statement, the valleys in the eastern part of Himalayas are broader compared to that of western part. एक चीज हमेशा याद रखिए कंपैरिजन के लिए क्वेश्चन बहुत बार पूछा जाता है इन यूपीएससी लाइक वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स वर्सेस ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स व्हिच इज ब्रॉडर व्हिच इज नैरोअर वेस्टर्न घाट्स ईस्टर्न घाट्स इफ यू कंपेयर द ऑल्टिट्यूड्स सो कमिंग बैक टू आवर क्वेश्चन वैलीज ऑफ ईस्टर्न पार्ट आर ब्रॉडर नो दे आर नॉट ब्रॉडर ज्यादा ब्रॉडर पार्ट आपको मिलेगा in the western part. Why in the western part? Because it was the western part which had first collided with the Eurasian plate during the formation of Himalaya. So, this statement is also not correct. Third, Himalaya is characterized by presence of V-shaped valleys, lacustrine plains. Yes, this definitely is true. Why this is true? The Himalayas, these are the source of numerous mighty rivers or mighty rivers in youthful stage. Mein, obviously, they would be Doing porthole drilling, etc., and forming V shaped valley. Or aapse pucha hai, not correct. Both 1 and 2 are not correct. Or aapka samay bhi bat sakta tha, agar aapko pata hai ki third statement jo hai, wo sahi hai. The third statement nahi aana chahiye hai. Directly bhi aap tick kar sakte hai. Aapko not correct pucha. Question number 29. Match list A and list B and select the correct answer. Now, list A mein kya hai? Oceanic trenches. List B, the locational aspect. So, Aleutian Trench, is it there in the Indian Ocean? Karmadak, is it there in the North Pacific? Sunda Trench, South Pacific. And South Sandwich, is it in the South Atlantic Ocean? Trenches, ridges. Yaha se question pucha gaya tha. Which of the following trench is there? Diamantia trench is there in which of the following oceans? Answer was Indian Ocean. So be prepared for such type of map-based questions. So the correct answer is option B. So Aleutian trench, you would have a look over here. Where do you find Aleutian trench? Is it Indian Ocean? By no means it is Indian Ocean. This is North Pacific. Then we have Karma Deck Trench. Where do we have Karma Deck Trench? This is where we find Karma Deck Trench. Right? This is your South Pacific. Where do we have Sunda Trench? Ye padte hai aap plate tectonics ke andar. And where do you have South Sandwich Trench? So please go through this image very properly, right? So moving to question number 30. The delta of, consider the following statements. The delta of river Godavari is called granary of South India. No, this is not river Godavari. Rather, this is river Kaveri. The west continental shelf is its is at its widest of the Bombay coast. This is true. The eastern coastal plain provides ideal ground for development of ports in comparison to the western plain. So definitely this is not the case. Why this is not the case? Just now we had discussed lot of rivers, they drain their water into Bay of Bengal. In fact, 77% of our Indian drainage, sediments bhi leke aenge, sediments leke aenge, 
so the movement of ships become very difficult compare this with the western coast is a submerged coastline so what has been asked which of the following is correctly matched correctly matched are only second statement is right rest 1 and 3 is wrong question number 31 consider the statement with respect to riverine landforms and you have to identify all these are what so they are formed when the rivers deposit their load deposits of this landform are well sorted and clearly stratified Distributaries of river are closely associated with this landform and Indian rivers flowing towards the west through the rift valley do not form this landform. Now this is a characteristic feature. This characteristic feature hai. West flowing rivers through the rift valley, Narmada Tapi, they are famous not for the deltas. The correct answer becomes our delta. So they are formed when the rivers they deposit their load. During the old age or the end part of river, it has a well connected network of various history. Moving to question number 32. Consider the following statements. Factors responsible for formation and magnitude of tides. The relative position of sun, moon and earth. Yes, this is factor which is responsible for the same. Local winds and weather patterns. Shape of the coastline. Uneven distribution of water. All of the factors given over here are responsible for formation as well as for magnitude of the tides question number 33 now two statements are given over here chinook winds are warm and dry winds that usually blow in the winter season these winds blow along the western slopes of the rocky mountains sabhi kuch sahi diya hua hai except for western slope Rocky Mountains. Rather, this is on the eastern slope of the Rocky Mountains. First statement is true and second is incorrect. Second incorrect kaha diya hai? Option. Question number 34. Which of the following statement is are correct regarding the storm surge? It leads to rise in sea level that occurs during tropical cyclone or intense storms. Yes, this is true. How is a storm surge created? Suppose this is the water body and there is intense heating. Uski wajah se kya hoga? Low pressure, extremely low pressures would be created. And sometimes these low pressure are so extreme, the winds would be rushing from the high pressure towards the low pressure center. Because of that, at times, have formation of storm surges. This is, a, this is a result of atmospheric pressure and Coriolis force. Yes, this is true. An overflow of excessive water on dry land cannot be caused by large storms. Why it cannot be caused? So, which of the following statement is are correct? So, statement 1 and statement 2 is correct. Statement 3 is not correct. So our answer becomes only 2. Question number 35, with reference to fog and mist, consider the following statements. We have four different statements for the same. Perhaps a correct pooch. The visibility range in fog is less than the visibility range in mist. The mist usually carries more moisture as compared to fog. A lot of confusion hota hai. Kis mein zyada moisture hai? Simple hai. M say mist, M say moisture. So, mist carries. This is just to remember. This statement is true. Fogs are generally seen in mount, mountain ranges. Yes, this is also true. 
and mist tend to be much denser than the fog. No, this is wrong. So, what is your question? Which of the following statement is are correct? The correct answer is one, two, and three. So, mist is not denser than the fog. Question number 36. Which of the following statement is R correct regarding sleet? These are questions which are there on different types of precipitation. It consists of frozen rain drops and refrozen melted snow water. Yes, this is true. They have several concentric layers of ice one over the other. Oh, this is not related to sleet, rather, this is related to hails. So, only one of them is correct, second is not correct. Question number 37. Tornadoes are a violently rotating column of air touching the ground. Statement second. It generally develops extremely rapidly. Yes, this is true. And takes longer time to dissipate. So, this is, does not take longer time to dissipate. The second statement galat ho gaya, your answer becomes option. Question number 38. Type of grassland and the region has been asked. But usme aapko pucha gaya hai, how many of the above pairs are incorrectly matched? So, steppe, are they there in Asia? Yes, this is Campos. No, they are not there in Argentina. Rather, they are there in Brazil. Lanos. Not at all in case of USA. Is there in South America? Canterbury, New Zealand. Yes, this is true. Wells, they are there in South Africa. This is also true. The correct answer is only two pairs are incorrectly. Rest three pairs are correctly matched. You can have a look. You should be also aware. Pustas regions. Are there in Hungary? Question number 39. Consider the following assertion reasoning. The annual range of temperature in the interior of continents is high as compared to coastal areas. Yes, definitely this. And reason that is there, this is located in the interior of continent are far away from moderating influence of the sea. Definitely. This reason is both A and this is the correct explanation, the same. Question number 40, the several regions they have been marked or shaded of the four shaded regions in the map that which is characterized by hot dry summer, mild and moist winters. And seasonal reversal of wind, the areas labeled. So, where do you find hot dry summers? Ki summers mein barish nahi hai, but winters mein there is rain. There in Mediterranean. So, correct answer is question number 41. It is formed beyond the region of fresh alluvial deposition. Brought in by the annual flooding of the rivers and has steep coastline formed by fluvial deposition. Action in Punjab Haryana region. It is generally more than 3 meters in height. It is prone to heavy gully erosion by the streams along which they are formed. This is a description of which physiographic subdivision of India is being described in the paragraph that is given above. Now there are certain local names which are given to various physiographic subdivisions. Is it Bhur, Cho, Re or Dhaya? So Re aapne padha hoga in the case of saline areas. This is wrong. Cho, this is not there, correct answer is option D, is Dhaya, right?
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स कोस्टल प्लेन एंड देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक रीजन एंड देयर फीचर इज गिवन और आपसे पूछा है हाउ मेनी ऑफ द पेयर्स गिवन अब आर करेक्टली मैच डेकन ट्रैप्स प्री डोमिनेटली कंपोज ऑफ सेवरल लेयर्स ऑफ क्योलिटिक ब्लड बेसाल्ट डेफिनेटली आवर डेकन ट्रैप्स क्रिएटेड और फॉर्म बिकॉज वेन देर वॉज मूवमेंट ऑफ इंडियन प्लेट वर्ड्स नॉर्थ देन इट केम अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ री यूनियन हॉटस्पॉट वॉलकैनिक एक्टिविटी डेफिनेटली दिस इज सेकेंड कोनकन नेचुरली सूटेड फॉर हार्बर्स कहाँ पे है कोनकन वेस्टर्न कोस्ट वेस्टर्न कोस्ट इज नेचुरली सूटेड फॉर हार्बर्स टू जे एन पी टी बारमा गांव एक्सेट्रा नंबर ऑफ फोर्ट आर देयर माला बार नॉट सुटेबल फॉर एग्रीकल्चर इज डेफिनेटली सुटेबल फॉर एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज कर्नाटका प्लेन्स ब्रॉडेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन ब्रॉडेस्ट पार्ट वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स का कर्नाटका प्लेन्स नहीं है या कैनरा प्लेन्स नहीं है रेदर दिस इज वाइडेस्ट एट द बॉम्बे कोस्ट और वहां पर आपको क्या मिलता है बहुत वाइड कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ है तो देर इज डेपोजिशन राइट यू हैव बॉम्बे हाई एक्सेट्रा रिच सोर्स फॉर नेचुरल गैस ऑयल एक्सेट्रा तो हाउ मेनी पेयर्स आर करेक्टली मैच तो इस क्या सही क्या गलत टू आर राइट एंड टू आर रॉन्ग करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट विंध्या माउंटेन रेंज इट फॉर्म्स द सदर्न एस्कापमेंट ऑफ सेंट्रल हाईलैंड ऑफ इंडिया सेपरेटिंग दैम फ्रॉम द डेकन प्लेट्यू टू द साउथ तो पता होना चाहिए वे डू वी है वे डू वी है सतपुरास बैकाल रेंज हरिश्चंद्रा रेंज सतमाला रेंज एक्सेट्रा विंध्यास डू नॉट है फोल्ड्स मेटामोफिजम और इग्नियस इंट्रूजन इंडिकेटिंग इट्स नॉन टेक्टोनिक ओरिजन यस दिस इज ट्रू विंध्यास आर एसोसिएटेड विद द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ फॉल्टिंग नॉट फोल्डिंग बॉक्साइट कॉपर एसबेस्टोज डायमंड्स आर फाउंड अक्रॉस वेरियस रीजन इन विंध्यास कैसे पता लगेगा ऑल ऑफ दीज आर फाउंड इन द रीजन ऑफ विंध्यास और नॉट इफ दिस रीजन इज नॉट एसोसिएटेड वेरी मच विद मेटामोफिजम और इग्नियस इंट्रूजन एक्सेट्रा तो दीज आर नॉट कॉमनली फाउंड इन दिस रीजन रेदर लाइम स्टोन और वो सब सोर्सेज आर फाउंड इन दिस रीजन सो आपसे पूछा है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज आर करेक्ट दिस इज नॉट ट्रू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए वन एंड टू आर करेक्टली गिवन हेयर यू कैन सी विंध्यास दिस इज द सतपुरा रेंज अरावली हाथियावार तो प्लीज डू द मैप वर्क वेरी प्रॉपरली एंड माइनर डिपॉजिट लाइक लाइम स्टोन सैंड स्टोन दे आर फाउंड ओवर हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर द रीजन इज सराउंडेड बाय शंकोश रिवर ऑन द ईस्ट एंड तीसता रिवर ऑन द वेस्ट दीज रीजन आर अ पार्ट ऑफ एलिवेल फ्लड प्लेन्स द फुट हिल्स ऑफ ईस्टर्न हिमालयास in northeastern region of india the region forms the gateway to bhutan from india which of the following region is mentioned in the above paragraph is it relating to dwars is it relating to marg payar ya bugyals bahut simple question hai apne suna hoga sonmarg gulmarg etc obviously that is not there we are talking about northeast We are talking about a gateway to Bhutan. Definitely, this is not there. Bogyal, sabi padha tha. Bogyals, grasslands, alpine meadows, Uttarakhand region. This is not there. Rather, this is Dwars. Question number forty-five. Consider the following with reference to Andaman and Nicobar Island groups. 
these emergent islands are an extension of Arakayoma mountains of Myanmar. Unlike Lakshwadeep, Andaman and Nicobar islands are of coral origin. Not true. It is Lakshwadeep which are considered as atolls. Option third, the island group is surrounded by mangroves forest. Yes, this is definitely true. How many of the above statement is are correct? Two of them are correct. Second option given is wrong. Question number 46. With reference to Indus River, consider the following. Now, Indus River, you have three statements and you have to ask which of them is or are correct. Indus originates from Chamyangdung. Glacier, now as you read this word, you should come to your mind, it is Brahmaputra. Indus originates from Bokar Chu, not Chem Yung Dung. This statement is definitely wrong. Zanskar and Suru are the right bank tribute of Indus. Both are students who live which are right bank, which are left bank. This direction may river is flowing. Suppose river is flowing in this particular direction. This would be the right hand tribute. The left hand tribute. Wrong. The river cuts across Peer Panjal range to form a gorge near the Kashmir valley. So, this statement is also not correct. Why this is not correct? Because it cuts across Ladakh range, forming a spectacular gorge near Gilgit region. Or, you have correct. So, none of them. All the statements that are given over here are wrong. Question number 47. The forests are found in the western slope of western Ghats. Western slope of western Ghats. With warm and humid areas and an annual precipitation of 200 centimeters. The mean annual temperature is about 22 degrees Celsius. Main vegetation is ebony, mahogany, rosewood, etc. This forest ki baat ki ja rahi hai. Ahla hi statement mein aap concept bil jana chahiye. Reason is southwest monsoon. Pahle isi region mein aata. This is the among the first regions to experience a southwest monsoon. Very heavy rainfall. That is why this is also a part of biodiversity hotspots. Hotspots. This is tropical evergreen forest. Question number 48. Which of the following is our warm ocean currents? Florida current, Norwegian current, Oya Shiv current. Which is warm, which is cold? Of Florida. Norwegian. सबसे ज़्यादा confusion आता है Norwegian current में. जैसे ही नाम आता है Norwegian current. लोगों को लगता है Norway definitely it is in the higher latitudes. But mind you, Norwegian current is not a cold current. Rather, this is a warm current. Why this is a warm current? Because if you pay proper attention towards the concept of oceanic currents, where do you find Norway. So, Norway is somewhere over here and what do we have? We have Gulf Stream. Now, Gulf Stream it is bifurcated into North Atlantic Drift and Norwegian Current. But North Atlantic Drift ki wajay se, what do we have? We have mild winters in the northwest part of Europe or Norwegian Current. Now, this is what? Not a cold current. This is a warm current. I hope this concept is clear. Aap se poocha hai, warm oceanic current. So, this is a warm oceanic current. Now, what about Oya Shio? Ab confusion aata hai generally, Oya Shio or Kuro Shio currents. Oya Shio is a cold current. So, here you can see, Gulf Stream getting bifurcated, North Atlantic, Norwegian current. Isi tarike se, I am telling one more 
रिस्पेक्ट अलास्का करंट डू नॉट मार्क अलास्का करंट अगर पूछा है तो डू नॉट थिंक कि अलास्का बहुत ठंडा रीजन है तो अलास्का करंट भी कोल्ड करंट होगा रेदर अलास्का इज अलास्का करंट इज अम करंट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल अ कोल्ड करंट तो यहीं पे स्टूडेंट्स बहुत ज्यादा मिस्टेक कमिट करते हैं इन द एक्चुअल एग्जामिनेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी बिकॉज फ्लोरिडा का जो करंट है इट एक्चुअली फीड्स गल्फ स्ट्रीम दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वॉर्म करंट दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वॉर्म करंट बट ओयो शियो कैन सी coming from polward regions and it is meeting your warm kyoroshio and it is providing one of the best fishing grounds like we have warm gulf stream and cold labrador current so these are regions of rich fishing zones the correct answer becomes option so moving to question number 49 consider the following statements about ocean currents four statements are given How many of the statement given above are correct? Let us see them one by one. Ocean currents with the poleward transport of heat in the ocean. Yes, this is very much true. The Coriolis effect deflects ocean currents to the right in the northern hemisphere. This is also true. Upwelling brings cooler, nutrient-rich water towards the ocean surface. state and this is because of the upwelling upwelling is responsible for a flourishing fertilizer industry where the regions of peru atacama wo sub region right because cold peruvian current also known as humboldt current upwelling ki wajah se what do we have cold waters cooler nutrient rich water and because of that we have a flourishing fishing industry a flourishing fertilizer industry why fertilizer industry because birds they come to eat the fishes and their droppings the guano birds are used as a fertilizer this is also true fourth ocean gyre circulate the water in large rotational patterns in the ocean basins yes this is also oceanic Gyres, they are there. All four are correctly given over here. Moving to question number fifty, consider the following statements regarding dry deciduous forest. Please be very careful. This is dry deciduous, which has been given, not moist deciduous, because deciduous may be dry and moist are there. It covers vast areas of the country with rainfall ranging between hundred to Sorry, seventy to hundred centimeters. This is as the dry season begins, the trees shed their leaves entirely, and the forest appears like vast grassland. This it is patjhad. Also, common trees of the forest include tendu, palas, and amaltas. And you have asked what is it? Please pay attention. Correct. how many of the above statement is are correct all of the statement given over here are you can have a look at this image also what are the major forest type aur isko ratne ki bilkul zarurat nahi hai if you are very much clear with the concept of precipitation ki kahan pe precipitation hoga for example if you consider the western part of the western ghat obviously it receives very heavy rainfall बट अगर हम ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्न घाट की बात करेंगे तो दैट इज देयर इन विच पार्ट दैट इज देयर इन द लीवर्ड साइड एंड लीवर्ड साइड रिसीव्स लेस रेनफॉल बिकॉज इट इन द इट इज इन द रेन शेडो इफेक्ट ऑब्वियसली देयर वुड बी अ हॉट डेजर्ट व्हाई हॉट डेजर्ट बिकॉज अरावलीस दे आर इन पैरल टू द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून So I hope this is clear. With this, we conclude our today's session. I hope you find find it useful. Keep studying and keep writing your test on a regular basis. Thank you very much, and have a good time.